Hi, hello, welcome to my channel. Today in this session we are going to see the phylum Askelminthus from the Animal Kingdom chapter. Already in the previous sessions we have discussed about the Poripera, Cilentrata, Platyelminthus and Tinopora. Tinopora and Platyelminthus, right? So now we will see the phylum Askelminthus, round worms. Why these animals are called round worms? Why? Because their body is round like cylindrical shape. So that is why they are called round worm. First of all, let us try to understand the general characteristics of the phylum Askelminthus. What are the general characteristics? Great suborganization. These animals have the organ system develop organization. Means in their body we can observe the organ systems. And bilateral symmetry. Bilateral symmetry is there. We can divide the organism into two equal parts. You can observe here. So we can divide this through one equal parts. One <coughs> through the one line or through the one plane. We can divide these animals into two equal alls. Right. Such type of symmetry is called what? Bilateral symmetry. Already we have discussed in the basis of classification. And germinal layers, triploblastic, ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm layers are there. Right. Coelom. What about the body cavity? Pseudocelomic cavity is there. Means there is no true body cavity. Body cavity is a false body cavity. Why? Because the mesoderm layer forms pouches like structures between the body wall and digestive gut. So that is why it is called what? It is called pseudocelom or false cavity. Right? Digestive system. So digestive system here, complete digestive system we can observe from the askelminthus. Till now, all these phylas means platyhelminthus. In the platyhelminthus also there is incomplete digestive system. But here, from here, askelminthus complete digestive system is there. It has both mouth and anus is there. That is why it is called complete digestive system. And a tubular alimentary canal is there. This digestive tract is like a tube. So that is why with well-developed muscular pairing. So, so we can <coughs> call these animals tube in tube having animals, right, tube in tube like structure, already the body is a cylindrical shape and tubular alimentary canal is also there inside, so that is why tube in tube body structure, so next reproduction, dioecious sexes are separate, male and female organisms are separate and sexual reproduction is there, internal fertilization occurs, inside the body the fertilization takes place, development is a direct or in some animals, we can observe the indirect. What are the unique features? An excretory tube is there. So here we can observe one excretory tube is there. And through the excretory pore, <coughs> observe this diagram. Through the excretory pore, this tube opens out. So an excretory tube remove the body waste through the excretory pore. Okay, that is the important characteristic feature unique feature special feature right so next shows sexual dimorphism it is a morphological difference already we have discussed about this male and female are separate right they are not monoecious they are the dioecious male and females are separate are there and females are longer than the this is a very important point you have to remember here right females are females are longer than the males and you can observe the diagram, males generally they have the curved end, but females generally straight end and longer than the males. Okay, these you have to remember here. Okay, these are the very important points you have to remember for your examination purpose also. Right? So, females are longer than the males. Okay. Now, what are the examples? Ascaris, Ascaris is the example for this roundworm. Ascaris is also commonly known as what? Roundworm. And Ankylostoma is commonly known as hookworm. Ucararia bancrofti is commonly known as filarial worm. These are the example for Ask Elminthus. Now let us try to discuss few questions. So <coughs> from the NCRT, right? Which is first question? Which is true for roundworms? Already just now we have discussed about the topic of the roundworms. Already we know organ system develop organization is there. Yes or no? And what I said, tube within tube body structure is there. Tube within tube plan and pseudocelomic body cavity is there. Means these three characters are present in these animals. So that is why, what is the answer? All of these is the answer. Okay. So 
this is the first question next uh, second question digestive system consists of mouth and anus in which animals in which animals uh, mouth and anus is present generally we know in the askel mean the complete digestive system is there from the mouth and anus but here asking which animals right ankylostoma ukraria adamsia so these two animals first two animals belong to the askelminthus and third not belongs to the askelminthus so that is why what is the answer both 1 and 2 is the answer right okay so now come to the next slide ankylostoma is also known as ankylostoma what is the common name of ankylostoma ankylostoma is commonly known as what hookworm this point also we have discussed in the examples right which is correct regarding round worms what i said females are longer than the males yes this statement is right so here what is the question which statement is correct right so females are longer than males so this one is a right statement and second one is a males are longer than this is the wrong statement and they are the dioecious not monoecious so this statement also wrong and females are curved from its caudal end no so males generally caudal end is curved so that is why this point also wrong so what is the answer answer is the a females are longer than the males this statement is true right next which of the following groups of animals is bilaterally symmetrical and triploblastic so here which animals group of animals bilaterally symmetrical and triploblastic ciliantrates we know that ciliantrates are generally diploblastic animals these are not triploblastic and askel means are triploblastic we know that triploblastic animals these are okay tenopores no tenopores are also diploblastic sponges there are no ectoderma and endoderma also so that is why what is the answer so triploblastic bilateral symmetry showing animals triploblastic bilateral bilateral symmetry showing animals are only askelminthus so what is the answer askelminthus is the correct answer okay i hope you are getting <coughs> please like share and subscribe my channel thank you